I'm looking at the headlights and I can't stress enough how it's all just plug and play. So check them out. This is not a sponsored video at all. This is just a regular guy that installed them. It may take me a little longer than others just because I like to take my time. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that have been following me know that I'm planning on going on a road trip from the San Francisco Bay Area heading back east and possibly even all the way to New Jersey. We'll see how that goes. So I've been preparing for this trip and I've been asked what upgrades have I made? Well, so I thought I'd share with you. So one of them that I did share was I upgraded to truck mall LED lights. And I've also updated the signal lights and the tail lights. So I use ProBeam for the tail lights. This is the original one. And these are the LED turn signals. Two separate ones for the rear and the front. But as you can see here, they have this halo effect, which is nice. which gives us more visibility when we're on the road, especially when lane splitting. So yeah, I wanted to start in the front here and you can see that the lights are now updated, which is great. I really like it. The nice thing is they turn yellow when the signal's on. It's really bright here today. It is very easy to see. The thing I like about this setup here, uh, it's just plug and play. If you know how to change your light bulb, that's the original bulbs that are in there, you can put these in very easily, including the truck mall. So the tail lights also have the LEDs and the tail light. This tail light, it's a little sleeker. It doesn't pop out as much, which I think looks nice. And again, all plug and play, meaning you just take it apart, just plug everything in, bolt it all back together. It's really simple. The instructions are very easy to follow. One thing I like about these is the way the tail light has that indicator as well, as long and the normal indicators. Again, all LEDs. I can't stress enough how easy this was to install. You'll find links for everything that I have in the description below. I've been keeping it really simple. I did mention before that I wanted to change the handlebars out, but I'm going to go ahead and keep these. We'll see how they uh, perform or how I feel with them after this trip, but they actually are good. So I really haven't done any other upgrades other than the lights. Everything else is pretty much stock. The only other thing is just my rock mount, which if I had to give it a rating of zero to five stars, I would probably give it about three and a half. Although it's very secure, uh, I really don't have any problems with it or else I wouldn't be using it. It's just for the price. So I prefer to have my phone more this way, opposed to horizontal. But the thing is, if it's mounted here, if you follow it, it would have to be this high. I don't know, for me, I just didn't like that. So I keep it this way. And it does, in case it does get loose, it has this uh, latch here. But it is a very good mount in the sense that it's not going anywhere. And it costs so much that I said, I'm just gonna keep it. But yeah, it would be nice to have something lower or middle opposed to way up here or this way, but it works. I have been thinking about changing out the seat, not because it's uncomfortable, but I noticed that I've been riding kind of sitting up here a little more and it's not painful and I've been looking at the extended reach uh, seat from Saddleman the reviews are mostly good there's some people that don't like them and I don't know I'm still on the fence about it at this point I'm not sure if it would get here on time before my trip 
The only up other upgrade I've done is the backrest and this here in order to carry my bag right here, which is great. And other than that, I mean, that's all I've done. At this point, I think the motorcycle is ready for my trip. There's nothing else I can think of that I need to add on it. The only other kind of want at this point would be the seat, as I mentioned. A lot of people ask me, do you have any regrets about this? And I honestly have no regrets on this motorcycle. I really love it. It's really comfortable. I use it to commute to work. I go at least once, sometimes twice a week. Uh, California, where it's legal, the lane split. And, and it does it fine. Zero complaints. The only thing that I would have to say is it depends on you. And I'm kind of like, it, it gets... It gets tiring you got because it's chrome and it's black you got to spend a little more detail on it to wash it and i don't do it like maybe to put it on shows like maybe some others would i just try to do my best to keep it clean because i just want to ride it obviously if it's pretty bad i'm going to clean it but it's doing pretty good pretty easy to wash um but when you want to get in there and you can probably see some water spots uh, on there and it, it does bug me but sometimes I just want to go for a ride it looks nice all right everyone thanks again for all your time I'm looking forward to sharing with you everything I've gotten to prepare myself for this trip and then uh, let me know what you guys think is there anything you think for riding from the west coast to east coast that i need to put on the motorcycle that would really help me then i'm always open to advice all right everyone thank you take care <laughs>